Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a new heritage scrapbook process video. I'm a little off schedule today. I originally wanted to share the follow-up layout with you that I had started last week uh, due to some computer problems and just time getting away from me. That's not a possibility today, so I'm jumping ahead of schedule. I still have something I think you'll like. I'm showing you here some of the papers that I'm going to be using for this 4x6 and 3x4 family portrait that I printed at home on my Canon selfie. Um, the originals of these photos I think are like 5 by 7 and they live in the official family uh, photo album that I have not inherited yet. So I scanned them and they didn't come out great. The the 3 by 4 photo that um, actually had a really low resolution and that's why I printed it so small. So what I'm using is this background pattern paper. It's from Crate Paper's Close Knit Collection. It came in that um, paper pad that I showed you guys a few weeks ago I picked up at Michael's. I think it's DIY Shop 3 and it has some really great pattern papers for uh, for these layouts. So I then used some additional pattern papers from Crate Paper cut down into random sizes, a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch strips to use on my layout. And then I'm fishing here through an iris container that has all of my like papers that are in my current rotation for something to map the photos. I opted for this pattern paper from the Close Knit Collection from Crate Paper. That's also where that um, silhouette, like oval -y silhouette pattern paper is from. So if you look at these pictures, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. The top one, they're posed just looking at the camera, and the bottom one, they're still posed. I guess they want to appear as though they're reading this newspaper and looking at these books. I don't know what they're doing. It was taken in the early 1900s. Um, so I can just imagine them all putting on their, you know, Sunday best and preparing for this photo, this photo session. So anyway, what I'm doing here is just fussy cutting these ovals from that pattern paper. Uh, I think that they are just a great match for this time period and for these kinds of layouts. This is the extent of the embellishing that I'm going to do for this page. I wanted to keep things pretty monochrome, so just some mints, uh, blues, aquas, things like that, and then I'm going to pull in the brown uh, just as a, an additional neutral. Next what I'm going to do is layer up these strips of paper on the top and bottom of the layouts. It's nothing groundbreaking. I think I've actually done it before, but I just want to incorporate as many of these beautiful pattern papers as possible. That floral is from the Open Road collection from Crate Paper. Um, that, I believe, is from the Wonder collection, that green checkmark pattern. And then the wood doily paper, what I refer to it as is the wood doily paper. That is from the DIY Shop collection from Crate Paper also. So I'm basically just going to um, use all of the same pieces at the top but mirror them. So the green paper in the bottom left will move to the top right and the wood doily paper will go from the bottom right to the top left. So now that the photos are down and everything's matted, I'm going to go ahead and adhere these pieces to the layout so I can figure out how much room I have for my journaling and I'm using some foam adhesive here just to give it a little more dimension. Now my journaling that's visible on the page is just a who's who. I'm just going to draw some squiggly lines here and identify everybody on or everybody in the photos. It is very important personally for me to do this. Uh, there's nothing worse than looking through these really old, very well preserved photo albums and not having any idea who is in these photos. So it's just really important for me to get these down. So hopefully my kids and their kids um, we'll be able to pinpoint who is who in these pictures. Just barely squeaked it in at the bottom. So next I'm going to use this tag. I'm recording a working theory that I am uh, still researching. And if it turns out to be false, then I'll just go ahead and check the tag. And then if it is true, I'll rewrite it and include it. But I do want to write it down so that I don't forget. And basically, uh, it's just some information that I pieced together from a couple of censuses that I looked at. These photos include a mother and father, their two children, and their children's families. Now, my husband's side of the family comes from the daughter's family, but this story is actually referring to the son's side. So, uh, it basically is talking about how um, the 1910 census, this woman named Julia was listed as their housekeeper in their household, or actually as their servant, it said. And then I noticed 10 years later, she's listed as his wife, and they have two children. Uh, so I think what I've been able to piece together here 
is that they got married. He adopted her previ her uh, her child that she had previously, and they had another one of their own. It's pretty fascinating to me because I've been told that this was a wealthy family. They were actually referred to as aristocrats. Uh, so it's very intriguing to me, uh, you know, how they would have taken this news. Um, turns out, actually, that I saw something similar happen on the other side of my family tree. Uh, I don't know if this is a trend uh, where somebody is listed as a housekeeper uh, in a household one year, and then 10 years later, they're married to the head of the household. Um, maybe housekeeper is code for something, and I'm certainly not going to get into that in these albums, but it's just, it's all very fascinating, and I want to be sure that I don't forget it. So the last thing I'm going to do is take these October Afternoon Daily Flash stickers and uh, record the year that this photo was taken, and that's it. Here is a final look at my layout along with a few close-ups. I will do my best to share the conclusion of the Clap Ross couple with you guys next week. I'll see you soon.